Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so just giving you a quick uh, app of the month that I have fallen in love with. And uh, I just think it's really cool and I think it's really hilarious too at the same time. So uh, this app is called Control Center. And if you've seen, you know, some other OSs, it might look familiar. Ta-da! So yes, this is uh, something that's going to be coming on iOS 7 in about two months or three months, whenever it releases. Um, you know, if you notice too, I also have the other iOS 7 feature, uh, Parallax, where the wallpaper is uh, moving around depending on how I rotate the screen. Um, so I thought this was really funny because it came out before um, iOS 7 did officially. You know, it's in developer mode right now and uh, lagging on uh, iPhone 5s right now. Uh, but so I just wanted to kind of point out the features of it um, and what you can do with this app. So when we open it up, um, once you start the service, you can have the arrow indicator at the bottom. So if you want the arrow indicator to be there, and um, kind of like tell you to uh, go through it and everything, you can do that. Um, I like having it off. You can also have the vibration touch on there, so as soon as you go right there, it will vibrate. Um, and your version uh, will normally, for the free version on the control center, will have uh, get the pro key and get, um, what was the other feature? Uh, get the pro key and uh, look at his other apps. Uh, so that is, um, the difference between the Pro key and that is just basically that uh, you don't have those two right there. And also, uh, when you normally have this without the Pro key, the free version, you have another one called Game Center, which obviously isn't on Android. Uh, so it's more of like kind of like an ad for other apps that uh, he has made. Um, but yes, I wanted to support him because I thought this was a really good app, so I paid the dollar extra and now it, you know, just is simpler anyway. So um, this works pretty much um, identical to the way it does on iOS 7. And, you know, we still have our toggles here at the top, but this is really big, especially for phones that don't have the toggles, like HTC One, um, any Nexus device, you know, where you don't have quick toggles. Um, that are this convenient where you just tap it on and off. I don't like the two swipe with the Nexus and then tapping them on and off. It takes too long for me. And especially with the HTC One, I just, I need toggles. So it just, uh, it's really nice. And this is on any app. So no matter what app you're on, you know, you can be on a game, you can be on um, even something that's a landscape and uh, you can use this app. So let me just go to, uh, what can I go to? Say if I go to my gallery and I'm viewing my gallery, I can still do it swipe up from the bottom or normally I could, but there you go. So, um, and this is how it looks in landscape. So you can do a landscape or portrait, which is kind of nice um, that you have that ability to do so. Um, and so here's the nice part about this uh, app. The toggles are right here at the top, so you can turn these on and off, um, and basically just turn Wi-Fi off, turn it on, turn airplane mode on. GPS is the only one where, unfortunately, um, you sometimes have to, uh, you do have to go into the menu itself to turn it on, so that's the only uh, one that you have to go into the menu. Otherwise, they're just an on and off switch. And then you have your brightness right here. And of course you can turn auto brightness on if you choose to right here as well. You have your sound and then your ringer. And then of course you can always put it on silent mode or put it on vibrate mode, which I prefer to as well to do. Um, and then from here you have your flashlight. So as soon as I touch it, the flashlight will be on. And I also have um, over here these three are customizable, so this is normally the alarm clock, the, count, the calculator, and the camera. However, if you hold any of these down, um, it takes a second, but it basically scans all of your apps, um, and basically you can program this to do whatever. So if you don't use your calculator a lot and you want to use your calendar instead, well then you can select your calendar instead. So that's just a nice feature that you have the ability to personalize these uh, as well. I really like that feature that I can personalize it. 
Um, for right now, I just kind of wanted to show that, you know, for my alarm, I can just go to it and then I have my alarm. I think I would prefer a calendar on there though for myself. Um, and then for a calculator, I can just go right to the calculator. So it's just a really uh, nice app and I like it. Um, uh, this combined with uh, the, my other one on my S4, which is of course uh, uh, Swaps, I really just love, like it's like multitasking at its best. I can pick my five last apps and all the main apps I use, and then I can uh, go to these quick apps as well very quickly and toggles on and off. So it's just really nice. It's really easy to operate one-handed, and that's one of the things I like about it. I love uh, getting things done quicker on my device, and this has helped me uh, do it quicker. And it's another free app. As you know, usually the apps of the month, I strain to always make sure they're a free app. So uh, just go to uh, Google search and then control center. And then you will find it. And there you have it guys. So that is the app. And then that's the one, I, like I said, the pro key status. And if you do ever uh, want to uh, get, uh, if you like a lot of the iOS stuff, I mean, this guy does have a, a lot of them. Uh, so he usually has high notes. He has a lot of apps. Uh, another one is like High Notes. So if you like the note taking app on iOS, you have it right there. But as you can see, this guy um, definitely has a lot of just all the iOS stuff. So if you really are into the iOS um, kind of features, including like the uh, emojis and all that kind of stuff, you have the ability uh, to use all of his apps. All right, guys. So if you have any other questions about this, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y the Android guy.